Listen, if you have prospects that you've been trying to get hold of and they're just sort of stagnating, they're sitting on the fence and you want them to take that leap, whether to buy or get the hell out of your database, then you want to send this email. Hey guys, it's John Bellamy here and today I wanted to share with you a little copywriting framework and ChatGPT script that you can go and utilize to craft you a really awesome type of email that's going to shake the tree. It's going to make people jump either on the bandwagon and start working with you or get out of your database, out of your sales pipeline and, and move them from. Now, the reason why I wanted to share this with you is off the back of a number of calls and conversations I've had with some of our inner circle clients over the last few weeks. And what we've noticed, and maybe you can relate, is that every one of us in a small service-based business has typically running a sales pipeline. We've got clients or prospective clients that are at various stages. Maybe they've just started coming in, they've started having their inquiry, um, they're coming right through, maybe we've had one or two you know, conversations with them, we've now had a discovery call with them or a strategy session, whatever you wanna call that, a blueprint call um, with them, and we're looking to actually get them to buy. They've expressed that level of interest, we've provided a proposal, a quote, whatever that thing might be for you, we've told them how much it is to work with us but all of a sudden they haven't said yes but also they haven't said no and we're like how do we get them to take that action how do we get them like even if it's the oh no we've decided to go a different direction how do we get them to take that action and make a decision quicker so that we're not wasting time following up the wrong people so this framework um, that I like to call the lead response framework, yes, I've got a look down here and I've got my little sheet um, out here for you. I wanted to share that with you today because hopefully it will be as useful for you as it is for me and our other clients. So jumping into the framework, let's talk about it. First things first, there's five key areas of this copywriting framework that you really want to think about. So let's run through those real quickly. The first thing is, is that we need to be able to clearly state the problem that our ideal client or buyer persona um, is actually having. That's the very first thing. So we need to be able to get that. The second thing that we need to be able to do is clearly state why us our product, our service, our solution is the right result, is the right thing for the client um, to move forward with. From there, what we want to do is really paint a pretty picture. We want to paint that picture um, to further support why we're their solution. So think of this as like um, three different bullet points that really cement the learning as for as for why they should work with us. Um, from there, the fourth thing that we want to do is we want to paint sort of the two options, the positive and the negative um, decisions that that will help them, that the contact will actually make. So think of it from the state of play where they're at. So if they make a positive decision, that's decide to work with you. What is their life or their business going to look like from here on out? And if they make the negative decision where they don't choose to work with you, what is their current situation looking like right now? And, and why is that not the ideal state? And finally, what we need to do, and this is the clincher, right? We actually need to ask them for the money, right? We need to ask them to take that type of action, sign the contract, send a deposit, tell me you're in. Whatever that call to action is that gets you to that money point, we need to incorporate that inside of this copywriting framework. So once again, the whole idea of this is to take people from sitting on the fence to actually making a decision either way, right? Yes, I want to work with you or no, I don't, right? Those two decisions are a perfect decision. Of course, we want more people to say, yes, they want to work with us. But the reason why we want them to say equally, no, I don't want to work with you, is because we can then take that time that we would have otherwise invested in trying to follow up people that are never going to buy and actually refocus that in servicing our existing clients or finding more quality clients and having more quality sales conversations with those people who are going to buy. All right, so let's move into the prompt here. Now, 
If you don't need any ChatGPT prompts and you're happy to just go craft the email yourself, spectacular, right? But what I wanted to do is I wanted to share this really cool prompt with you. So there'll probably be a little pop-up here on the screen somewhere that'll give you the prompt. Um, but I wanted to share this prompt with you because um, it'll actually just shortcut the time that it will take you to go and craft a really good email. Now, it's no guarantee that you're not gonna have to go and tweak the email or anything like that. Of course, you want to make sure it is your language but this will just save you potentially hours of wasted effort when you can get this done in three minutes utilizing some AI so when it comes to the AI side of things there's a couple of things that I want you to um, be clear on um, to get the best out of this prompt that I'm about to share with you number one I want you to have your ideal client persona ready okay so if you don't know what an ideal client persona is or you don't have that ready don't worry there's another video on our channel here that talks specifically about how to create your ideal persona go check that out that will give you the answers but I want you to have that ready when you are about to do your prompting on ChatGPT because it's going to give you just a thousand times better result um, for that time and energy and effort investment so here's the prompt I'm just gonna read this for you you'll see it come up on screen as well um, using the attached buyer persona along with the below copywriting framework act as my expert copywriter um, your task is to craft an email that will position and sell our CRM solution, roofing company, whatever it is, from our company, chat to clients, many whatever consulting, Acme Incorporated, um, to our ideal clients, right? Consider the following situation when crafting the email, right? I'm writing this email to prospects who are sitting on the fence. You may have spoken to them once or twice, phone, Zoom, or in person, and you want the prompt to help them to take that leap. Um, I want this email to be in a long format um, of up to 400 words, okay? And then we just restate the copywriting framework. Um, copywriting framework, start with the problem. Um, number two, position your product as solution. Number three, give them a three-step plan using a bullet point list. Number four, paint the perspective, uh, the positive and negative stakes. Okay, and then number five, ask for the money. So if you utilize that prompt, once again, it's there on screen, you utilize that prompt, upload your buyer persona, that is going to spit out a spectacular email for you. Now, you'll notice in that prompt that I asked it to provide a long form email up to 400 words. You can use the exact same prompt and change it to a medium length email up to 200 words or a short email up to 120 words, whatever you want to do with that, depending on your style of writing, how direct you want to be and all of that. But what I want you to do right now is I want you to be thinking about um, those potential contacts that you have right now. Maybe there's one, maybe there's 50, whatever that is for you. And I want you to think about those contacts that are sitting on the fence right now and whereby you can go and grab what I've just shared, this copywriting framework, the chat GPT prompt, um, your ideal client persona, drop that over into some AI, produce a quality email, review the email, tweak it how it needs to be and get that hit send I know you are going to break the bank with this, right? If you use this email consistently, there is no way that you are not going to convert more prospects to clients in your business. Imagine that right now, if you use that for five times a week, what would it be if it got one extra deal over a week, every single week for the rest of the year? What's a deal worth? A grand, five grand, 50 grand, whatever that looks like to you. I'm telling you, you'll have more zeros in your bank account by utilizing this simple email prompt. So there you have it, guys. I trust you find that of value. As always, if you like these videos, I encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you've got any questions, you'd like some more prompts, any more help with your marketing, uh, just reach out where myself and the team are more than happy to have a conversation with you and see how we can help. It's John Bellamy here. Have a great day. Talk again real soon. Bye for now.